I'm Bill with Tandem Cross, making good guns great. Before we go any farther, let me remind you to click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, and be sure to follow us on our social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now the Taurus TX-22 is seeing use by a wide variety of shooters, from plinkers and hobbyists to competition shooters, and it's even seeing use as a training gun for prospective concealed carriers. Now, a big part of the appeal and usefulness of the TX-22 is that the stock magazines can hold 16 rounds. It's a lot for a 22 lr pistol, and more rounds means more shooting means more fun, right? But bear with me on this. What if you could have even more rounds in it? You can with the Wingman Plus 5 Bumper for Taurus TX-22 by Tandem Cross. The Wingman adds space for five additional rounds and comes with a brand new green spring to make sure those extra rounds feed correctly. It's made from durable Zytel to withstand drops, and the wide textured bottom makes it easy to quickly and accurately get a positive mag seating. The Wingman doesn't permanently modify your magazines, and it attaches in just a few easy steps, and it doesn't require any specialized tools to do it. So let's get to it. For this install, the only tool you'll need is a number one Phillips head screwdriver, but we also recommend eye protection because some parts are under spring pressure and could go flying. To start, take a look at the bottom of the mag. In the middle of the base plate, you'll see this black circle. Push that in with your screwdriver and the base plate will be able to slide off. The magazine spring will try to jump out, so either catch it with your thumb or point it away from yourself. But then you will remove the spring and the spring plate that's attached to it and set those aside along with the base plate. You'll also be removing the follower button, so slide the follower down to the end. The button should just drop out. You might have to poke it out, but set that aside too. Now grab your supplied green spring and insert it into the smaller of the two holes in the bottom of the mag. Now grab the upper part of the base plate, orient it and your magazine as shown with this notch on the same side as the follower button channel, and then slide it down over the top of the mag, all the way to the bottom of the mag. Now the bottom of the new bumper can be attached. Orient it as shown. It has a corresponding notch that should be facing the same way. The slope will also match the slope of the top of the base plate and the top of the mag. Place it over the end of the spring that's sticking up so that the spring goes into the smaller of the two holes on the base plate and then slowly and carefully compress the spring until the base plate is all the way down. It's gonna feel like it, you can't push it all the way down, like the two halves can't get close enough together, but that's normal. Just hold them in place and grab your screws. Screw one screw into one of the holes on the bottom half of the, the bumper until it just bites into the upper half. Then screw the other screw in. Start tightening them both down. Make sure to alternate between the two so that you pull the two halves together evenly. And then once there's no gap between the two halves, you're done. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions about this video, be sure to let me know in the comments. And don't forget to click like and subscribe and the notifications button so that when we upload new videos, you're the first to know. And also, don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can find the Wingman plus other products for TX-22 and a whole bunch of products for a whole bunch of other firearms at www.tannacross.com. See ya!